on April 4, 1974, in his historical address to the regional representatives, President Spencer W. Kimball spoke with special emphasis on the missionary program. He stated that missionaries would be called as they had never been called before, that every young man should go on a mission, and that countries outside of the USA should begin to furnish their own missionaries. He also said that new lands would begin to be open for missionary work, lands that had never had the gospel before. Portugal was the first nation to open after this announcement. On April 25, 1974, Portugal was just emerging from a serious political crisis when Portuguese military officers united to overthrow the 40 years dictatorial regime. In August of that year, Kimball sent David M. Kennedy, a special representative of the First Presidency and a friend of the new Portuguese leaders, to Lisbon to see how the leaders would feel if the church came to their country. The meetings were productive and the church was granted official recognition. On November 1974, the Portugal Lisbon mission was created with W. Grant Bangerter as its first president. He had been serving as mission president in Brazil. The first official public meeting of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints was held Sunday, November 24, 1974, at home of Ray Caldwell in Estoril, Portugal. There were 16 people present, including the mission president, the Caldwell family, and four missionaries. Portugal had just been open for missionaries' work. President Bagerter and four missionaries arrived in the country from Brazil a few days previous to begin the work in this area. They came with all the church literature, already translated and published in the Portuguese language. Missionaries were already fluent in the language as well. The Sunday school that started in Estoril was changed to the Lisbon branch on January 9, 1975, with Ray A. Caldwell called as the first branch president. The branch and missionaries rented space in the Hotel Roma. There were 30 persons present, counting three investigators. Within a few weeks, attendance grew to 85 persons. Maria de Lourdes Prista and Maria José Prista were the first converts baptized on March 4, 1975 in Lisbon. Later, on April 21, 1975, Elder Thomas S. Monson of the Quorum of Twelve Apostles disembarked at Lisbon Airport. W. Grant Bankerter, the first president of the Portugal Mission, had already been in the country for more than four months when Monson arrived. With 17 million missionaries, he had taken some solid steps in establishing the Lord's Kingdom in Portugal. Thomas S. Monson dedicated Portugal for missionary work on 22 of April 1975 at a spot in the hills outside of Lisbon. Nearly 50 people were assembled at 8 a.m. on that spot overlooking the Portuguese countryside and the ocean to hear Elder Monson dedicate the land to the Lord. On May 1976, Fernando Inês do Reis Amaral became the first couple from Portugal Lisbon Mission and, and from Portuguese descent to be sealed. The ceremony was performed in Provo Temple by William Grant Bangerter. On June 10, 1981, a memorable meeting occurred in the Roma Theatre in Lisbon. James Paramore of the 70 came to organize the first stake on Iberian Peninsula, the Lisbon-Portugal stake. A short six years had passed since W. Grant Bankerter arrived in the city to preside over the newly created Portugal Lisbon mission. That the stake would be organized after such a short period can be attributed to the hard work of the Portuguese pioneers and the missionaries. By 1977, the church had more than 1,000 members. By mid-80s, there were some 5,000, and since then, the membership increased to almost 43,000 members, with 74 congregations and two missions, beginning in one 
in 1st of June. More recently, on the 2nd of October 2010, in the General Conference of the Church, President Thomas S. Monson announced the building of a new temple in Lisbon, Portugal, and a new era, era is arriving to the saints in Portugal.